Okay, here's uh, Over the Hills and Far Away. Um, again, this is another one of those um, songs where it, it sounds like Bonham's doing um, 16ths on the hat. Um, anyway, so the song starts. Um, the song "Over the Hills and Far Away," and then it goes. It comes in. song too where there's not as in my opinion there's not a lot there's not as much bass drum going on as you think there is sometimes <clears throat> so like that so so I think the basic gist of the beat is like so But uh, mellow is the whatever the words are. I never listen when I listen to Zeppelin anyway. I'm a music guy. Uh, in too many different directions. <clears throat> okay, so anyway, what I'm saying, the first thing about the not as much bass drum, I think by and large in the groove of it, Episode of uh, the Good Wife with my wife and the attorney and the judge, and there always says, "In my opinion." So anyway, of course, my opinion when I when I make these videos. So um, to get right to the beef of you know that groove uh, where it goes. So uh, so that's the first thing. Issue or the with the new DVD, the song I made, it's the same where, in my opinion, Jimmy Page <laughs> changed a lot of stuff for the worse, <clears throat> at least as far as the drums were concerned. Um, but anyway, um, when you see Bonham play uh, Over the Hills and Far Away live, at least in that Madison Square Garden stuff, if I remember, he's going. <laughs> Chop it. I mean, live though, or I mean, um, in the studio you can hear that that hi hat hangs over. And a lot of when I I almost never when I've seen people play the song, they would never they'd always go. Two different ways to play the bass from there, the busy side or the unbusy side. Unbusy side. Or, uh, well, let me do it the proper hi-hat way. Or if you're busy. Okay. Um, 
let's leave the bass drum, leave it a little unbusy. In my opinion, it's always uh, better to keep it kind of unbusy with bottom stuff, believe it or not. But they just uh, go, always go in the right places. So anyway, on the hi-hat part, <coughs> uh, now I do, I do do this to mimic the 16th feel on the hat. Like, A lot of these things I just I dawn on me as we're, I'm making the video. So, um, but again, in the studio version, let's just put it this way: he's not going. Okay, he's letting it, he's holding that hat out. some microphones up close, but by and large, the, the beefcake being outside recording. Where it goes, um, where, where they go into this solo, um, you notice in that song, that in, in, in um, Over the Hills Far Away solo, you really hear the, the, the room sound, they really switch the mix of the drums to the room sound. So, bam, so he's like, ah. sound and then uh, as then they go uh, then they go uh, <laughs> okay when they go there you'll hear them switch they'll pull back the room sound they kind of get rid of probably 80 percent of the room sound and then, and then just rely on the, the close you know miking of the drums that they have set up at that time and you can hear that very uh, distinctly. I mean, I'm sure most folks have heard it before. If you really listen, I mean, you don't have to listen that hard. You, the, 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 uh, the, the room sound of the drums through the whole solo <clears throat> is be total beefy, you know? And then just as they go da 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 ba da 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 ba da 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 you know, up there, you'll hear the, you know, you'll, you'll hear the, suddenly the drums get right back to closed mic. And anyway, back into that change, it's, he, essentially, Bond's just going. And it's actually, it's funny about this song. Sometimes, it's, I'm making these two videos side by side. 
Sometimes to me, the the, the, the custard pie and the and, and, and the, that certain part of that song to me are very. I mean, they are very similar groove wise. Uh, anyway, so. when he does it, but I think he hits the hi-hat every time. Bon, um. Anyway, um, he may or may not. I just kind of forgot, to tell you the truth. But anyway, an interesting thing is there is that what he does is he goes... Uh. He hits the crash cymbal on an upbeat. Uh, when he does that, what he does is then he just goes back into a straight beat, like a straight. <laughs> while they, it, while that at that time where they're bringing, taking away the uh, the room sound and just leaving in the closed mic sound. So, so. <laughs> I think he's just going. And I think he does have ghost notes in there to mimic this. So. And that just. And you can actually sometimes make that sound more 16th note sort of. Get, uh, not gallop beat, but sort of the pulse is, is going. The accent the and. Okay, um. And then, so, uh. And then, of course, as we get toward the end, uh, he just throws those in. And then, um, and then it goes, uh, and then as they go to what where the fade out would be. Uh, sitting uh, over the hills and far away. And again, back to that one part. Uh I'll try it a lot slower. And when I play it slower, I definitely might over bizify the bass drum. It's just so... Instead of a one and two and, it, 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 so if I like this, see how it's not on. So I can't if I if I was locked into playing eighth notes with my right hand, I couldn't hit it. So if you were like a machine and you had to play with both hands, it'd be. 
have to hit it. It's, it's one e and a two e. One e and a two e and a. Okay? So what I do is, since you play, since when I do it, I'm hitting the e and the and with my right hand. But what I'm doing is I'm hitting the e, I'm hitting the e, the e. Sure, I'm, I'm, what am I, when is my freaking right hand coming back? My name. See, my own thing with the bottom thing, what he did wasn't like, <laughs> technically, what well, wasn't like, it was stuff that nobody really had ever think of. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing. You know, all your diehard total robot technicians, it's like the, sometimes that doesn't dawn on them, that sometimes it's something other than just like the technical part of it, you know? Just like kind of just the, the feel you have or just where you put the nose. And often it's very simple, but it's just unconventional, so it never really dawns on you. And then when you hear it, you're like, well, that's kind of cool. Anyway, that's on my opinion. So, thank you.